Casper the friendly ghost. Well, let's scratch out the friendly ghost. Let's take that out and just call it Casper. We don't need the friendly ghost in there. We're just going to call it Casper. And this is a 1995 film which stars Christina Ricci as the girl and Bill Pullman as the, the father, who he is really a doctor. And Christina Ricci, I didn't know that was her until I got older. I didn't, I didn't know that was her that played this, uh, the, kid, the kid in this movie. But she did another spooky film, which was called The Addams Family. She played a character named Wednesday Addams. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't know that was her. I didn't know she was in uh, Casper until I looked it up. I didn't know that was Christina Ricci. Because she looks totally different in this movie. So I didn't know that was her. So yeah, they decided like to go on vacation. Her and her dad decided to go on vacation. You know, she don't want to go on vacation. They go to this spooky house, this haunted house, which he didn't know the house was haunted until he got there. And now these three ghosts there. One's a fat slob. One's a r retarded ass ghost. And one's a fucking. I think one's like a skinny asshole. And do a lot of fucking stupid goofy shit and they, they just they just troll people. Like uh like the internet or something. They go around trolling people and shit. Fucking with them. And Casper, you know, he's the uh the friendly ghost. And they like he's being friendly. He, he like him being like a little puss bag. They don't like that shit. They like him being like a pussy. So they have like a problem with it. I mean, I don't have a problem with Casper, I like Casper. But those, those three are a bunch of douchebags. Just like, a lot of those dudes like to fuck with people all day. Which I do find it funny because the whole time they're like fucking with Bill Pullman the whole time, his character. Like, they're like fucking with him the whole time. Like, one scene, like, he was washing his face in the water, all of a sudden his face changes to like Clint Eastwood, to Ronnie Dangerfield, to Mel Gibson. And I'm like, how the fuck did they get Clint Eastwood to be in this uh, movie for a cameo? How the, how the hell did they even do that? Plus, you know, he doesn't do kids' movies like that. I mean, he did that fucking movie with that monkey, and I, I forgot what that was called. That, that was a pretty good movie. Him and his monkey kick some ass, and all, all the time, all the time, he just beat the shit out of people with his fist. That's the most I did. He just beat the shit out of people. That's why I love the movie. Here is like, what the fuck? I'm like, how did they get him to be in this film? I, that's, that's the thing. Is it because Steve Spielberg was the executive producer of this movie, or? I don't know, because that's kind of hard to get Clay Eastwood to be in a film like this. A goofy kid kid's film. Making his quotes in the mirror. They switched to Ryan Dangerfield to say some goofy shit. Which I love Ryan Dangerfield, he's a funny ass comedian. And they switched to Mel Gibson, which is another one that's odd. Mel Gibson. That's another guy, he's like, he's like another expensive actor. To get for a cameo. Which I don't think he really says anything, he's like, huh. That's all I think he really says. Then he switches to his face being... Bill pulls me his face being all, like, all zombified or something. Like, really crispy, cookie, crisp face. It's all fucked up. Disgusting skeleton with fucking shit on it. Yeah. And other times, like, fucking, uh... Like Bill Pullman gets wasted with the fucking... The ghost or something like that. And he pushes his fucking ass off the, uh... Off the roof or something. And he dies... He becomes a ghost and shit. Like I said, I, I do like it. I do like it when they fuck with him. It's like it's funny as shit for some reason. They fuck with this uh this doctor, this fucking guy. Uh, because he's a nerd. And you know, I I like Bill Pullman as an actor. I like him as an actor. He's a pretty good guy in these movies. He he's been, he's been like a lot of shit, like a lot a lot of shit. He's been into. Same with Christina Ricci. She she made like a lot of shit too. She made like a lot of fucking movies. They're both pretty good actors. Which one of my one of my like nostalgic scenes in this movie when the uh, the three uh, go the three goofball ghosts sit at the table eating breakfast, even though they're ghosts, for some reason they can eat breakfast. You know, they it's, it's fall right out of them. Like they just sh fucking shit through a goose or something like. When they're eating their food, it's like, just go right to the ground, that's it. I was like, how the fuck did they're ghosts? For some reason, they can still taste shit? I don't understand that. They just, they're like, oh, rah, rah, they just fall, all this shit just falls to the ground. Like, how the fuck they eat food? And for some reason, <clears throat> they're ghosts. Like, what the fuck is that about? 
Well, that's like one of my favorite scenes. They make all this breakfast, and sometimes they eat it, and they make a goddamn mess that like goes over the floor because they're ghosts. And they can't really digest anything because they're dead. They're fucking dead. That shit like would like, like laugh like laugh hard for some reason because it's like it's so fucking retarded. But yeah, and then they had these these two fucking criminal goons. One's by uh what's her fucking name? I think it's Kathy Morty from Raging Bull. Yeah, I had to look it up. I was like, what the fuck? That that, that blonde chick used to get abused by uh, Jake LaMotta in that movie. And you know, it's based off her true story, uh Raging Bull. Jake LaMotta, he was like a controlling uh, dude who like controlled his, was, uh, his wife and shit because he's like worried he, she might leave him for some guy or some shit. He's like, he beats the shit out of her and whatnot. And that's the reason why I really like the, like the movie because he was like, a, the whole movie was just, just about him just abusing his wife most of the time. So I, I didn't like that shit. I think I think Jake LaMotta is like a douchebag, to be fair. I mean, I like his boxing matches, but that's about it. That's the only reason why I really watch it for is to watch him be a boxer and not watch him beat the shit out of his wife all day. Like I don't like I don't like I don't like, don't like looking at shit. Like that shit like pisses me off for some reason. I mean, I should say for some reason it should be a reason why I should get pissed off about that. I, I just don't like that. Like. Dude, like, well, why, why even get married? You can't handle it. You can't handle it. see some. She, she's attractive. Yeah, I understand that she's attractive, but what's the point? Even get married, you can, you can't handle it. Like, what the fuck? And he's like beating the shit out of Joe Pesci, thinking he's going to fuck his wife or something. Like, what the fuck is going on in the dude's head? It's like this dude's like going fucking bonkers to get too many punches to the head or something. That's why. That's why I didn't really like that movie. I, I didn't like that movie because he was abusive. I didn't like that because of that. And like Carmen bites in the ass at the end of the film, because Carmen's a bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is he he something to turn like fat and shit. You're gonna turn fat. He becomes a comedian after he retires because uh, like Joe Frazier knocks his ass out. No, I don't think it was Joe Frazier. I think it was like another black guy who was a boxer. I forgot what his name was. He was a fast motherfucker. I think it was Joe Frazier. I, I don't remember. I, just, I didn't watch the movie since like like last year or a couple of months ago. I forgot how long I watched that movie. I think it. I think it was, I think it was last year. I think. But let's get back to uh, talk about the movie Casper. Uh, and the other one it was not a criminal criminal that works for, for Kathy Morthy in the movie was uh, Eric Idle, which he was from Monty Python, uh, another famous actor. He, well, he's mostly famous in the UK because of his, you know, skits he does with the other guys, John Cleese and them. He used to do a lot of skits in the 60s and 70s with Monty Python group. But they're not a bad comedy group. I, I like White's Kids You Know more more than them. You know, the White's Kids You Know are the, uh, are the American version of Monty Python. Which, like I said, I find, them more I find White's Kids You Know more funnier than them. Because they're like more modern, and I mean, Monty Python made, made a good movie. And when they're like they're they're, they're like parroting uh, King Arthur and shit, that, that was a pretty funny movie. But after that, like they did this other one about Jesus or something, a parody of Jesus. I didn't really find it funny, not because of the, about the uh, to make fun of Christians and the Bible and stuff. It's just that I never really found it funny. Then I mean, they made that third one. It was like a skit movie, and that was like really bad. I was like, it's like the one of the worst skit movies I've ever watched. Like, this, like this is like terrible. I, I hated it. God, he played that same fucking commercial. It's so annoying. But yeah, Eric Isles. I think he died like last year or this year. And he had, I think he was like he had like senile problems. We got he got he because he's old and stuff. And it, it sucks when you like you lose your memory when you get older. <clears throat> you remember a goddamn thing when you get older. Let's see, I think he died last year, right? Let me see here. Eric Idle. Oh no, wait, he's still alive. I, I don't think about somebody, some other Monty Python actor. I think it was Terry Jones, I think. I think he, he won died this year or last year. Eric Idle's still alive. I don't know why I thought he was dead. <laughs> I'm thinking the wrong Monty Python guy. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, I, I like Monty Python, but I'm more a fan of Wise Kids, you know. Yeah, so they're a bunch of fucking criminal guys. They try to hire somebody to get rid of these ghosts in the house. So they get fucking Dan, Dan Aykroyd. 
to play his character from Ghostbusters. And he goes in there, he couldn't do anything. He was like, who are you going to call? Somebody else. And he just walks out with his mustache. And like the director's like, this is in the same universe as Casper. Ghostbusters and Casper are in the same universe. No one's, no one's fucking isn't. Who the fuck are you? You can't tell that. You asshat. Like, you, you're not the creator of fucking the, the Ghostbusters. You can't, it can't be in the same universe because the Casper has ghosts in it. And Casper's a ghost. That makes no goddamn sense. But that was pretty funny, though. Uh, he's, he has a cameo as, as, uh, as Ray, his character Ray from the Ghostbusters film. The sequels, not so much. I'm not really a fan of the sequels that much. Well, I should say sequels. He's only had like one sequel. It's Ghost, Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2 is just... I didn't really find it funny. It was, it was pretty bad. It was like it was like so much filler in that movie. I didn't really like it. It had like too much filler in a, a second film, which I don't mind doing a review on Ghostbusters Two. You want me? If you want me to, I'll explain why I didn't like that movie. <clears throat> I only like, like the first one. I didn't like, I didn't like the second one. I especially didn't like the fucking remake. That was like one of the worst Ghostbusters films I've seen in my entire life. It was like a nightmare. And now to come up with the third one that's come out next year. I think I think it was next year. The third one movie is about fucking uh, Egon's grandson, and he's like in fucking middle school or something. That's like the most stupidest shit ever. He should be he should be like in college or something, not fucking middle school. That's the stupidest shit ever. He should be he should be a college boy, like a twenty two year old college boy, not a fucking fucking uh, twelve year old kid played by uh, the kid from Stranger Things. That's the stupidest idea ever. It fucking, I think his dad's a teacher in a movie or something. No, 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 I don't think his dad's a teacher. I think it was. I forgot, but forget it. Let's talk about this again. So, fucking, uh, what's his name? Eric Idle and Captain Morty. I think their plan is, I think they're trying to steal that potion shit or something to make some make an immortality or something, I remembered. And like, there are times that they failed so many times and fucking, they crashed into a fucking tree and the chick becomes a ghost and shit and they're still trying to get that shit, that potion stuff. And they're like, they're fighting over it with Casper and, and fucking uh, Christy and Ricky's character. They're fighting over it and shit. Oh yeah, and like I said, Bill, Bill Pullman dies because he's an idiot. His character dies because he was like being a, a drunk idiot. He falls off the fucking cliff or something. Now they had to give, give that potion to him, and Casper was like pissed off. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, I get this potion to him? Or his fucking stinking ass dad? He's like, he's like, ah, oh, shit. So he had to give it to him, and then he's like, back to life again. Oh, I'm alive again. Thanks, Casper. He's like, Casper's like, fuck you, buddy. So, now Casper's like sad. He can't come a real boy anymore, like Pinocchio. So it was, uh, I think it's like it's this fairy godmother shows up and decides to make him a. A fucking boy for, until 12 at night. Before it hits 12 at night, you gotta stay his boy till then. Like it's Cinderella over again or something. But it's like a reverse into Cinderella. And that fairy godmother is fucking uh, Bill Pullman's uh, dead wife. But somehow he, he somehow he kisses her somehow. You know she's a ghost. But anyways, uh, fucking. Casper is a fucking human. He dances with Christina Ricky and shit. And then he turns back into a ghost. Everyone gets terrified. Oh yeah, she invited a bunch of her friends over for a Halloween party. And then they, they ran out and they all scared, terrified. Ooh. They got like a bunch of little fucking pussies. And that's about it. That's what that's the end of the movie. Because there, there's a part they're like floating in air too. When they're dancing and shit too. And he's like wearing his... His human clothes, like a, he's like a, dressed like a pirate and shit. I'm like, like he's Jerry Seinfeld on a fucking chandelier. Oh my god. But I, I enjoyed this movie when I was a kid, man. I still do now as an adult. Especially when you're an adult, it's like way funnier when you're an adult when you're watching this shit. You understand jokes even better when you're older. That's the problem with kids' movies these days. Kids' movies don't understand. You gotta have adult jokes in there also, besides kids' jokes. You gotta have both in there. Kids' jokes and adult jokes. You can't just just kids' jokes in there. That's what screws up modern movies now for kids. Because these people are stupid. They don't understand it. You gotta, you gotta make the adults enjoy stuff too, along, along with their kids. Which they don't understand it, these, these cinemas and Hollywood people. 
Yeah, Christina Ricci is like a pretty attractive lady, though. I'll admit to that. And also, uh, Ben Stein was in here. He he, he has a, a guest role in this movie. He makes an appearance. He's he said by his uh, it's a bunch of stupid shit in this movie. Uh, 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 clear eyes. I love the way he talks. It's like it's funny as shit the way he talks. I don't know how he got in the movies because the way that he talks. Probably. But uh, I think that's, that's, I think that's about it. Uh, I don't think we had much to really talk about. This movie's still pretty enjoyable. I'll probably watch it again in the future. If they play on TV again or something. <laughs>